Okay, welcome to a bit of uh, Simon's Shed Science, and uh, this is all about track cleaning. So after the last video, I kind of opened a bit of a can of worms in terms of what you should use, how you should clean the track and what you should put on it and what you shouldn't. And uh, there was a video, uh, which is definitely worth a watch by a channel called Fish Plate Films uh, about track cleaning recommending not to put uh, isopropyl alcohol uh, on the track. Isopropanol alcohol, that's the one, isn't it? Uh, on the track, because it contains water and it'll clean the track. And then you leave it for a bit and it'll oxidize the track. So um, I've been using IPA for a while and it's seemed fine. Uh, I also got some other recommendations of what to use. Uh, vinegar and window cleaner so I thought we'd do a bit of an experiment so we're going to rule out these two tracks because I have already cleaned those but I haven't touched these four tracks at the end so hopefully now you've seen that the low coat is okay so safe to say that that track's pretty dirty Likewise, the other tracks. So you can see that stop there. So yes, uh, all four tracks are pretty dirty. Now, the closest I could get to what Fish Plate Films suggest is uh, WD-40. Vinegar, we'll give that a try. Uh, this is window cleaner. It has got vinegar in it as well. And obviously the standard uh, isopropanol IPA or isopropanol alcohol. Isopropyl, is it isopropyl or isopropanol? Because it's called isopropanol, but then it says isopropyl alcohol. <laughs> Anyway, you know what I mean. So, uh, I'm going to uh, just put, just use a bit of cardboard for each of the tracks and try and do the same to each, uh, which will be uh, getting the track covered in whatever liquid it is, giving it a clean, and then giving it, not a dry off, but... Uh, because I want to sort of deliberately try and leave some of the residue on to see what difference it makes. Uh, but, you know, not leaving it soaking wet. And then we'll see what happens after, I don't know, maybe a day, maybe 24 hours, or maybe longer, uh, depending on what happens, to see if that residue that's left behind um, keeps the track clean or makes it a lot worse. So, let's give it a go. Uh, WD-40 is number one. Track two is IPA. Uh, track three is window cleaner. And track four is the other one, uh, vinegar. Get 
I can get the train on the local on the track. Uh, so I've got it set to quite a slow speed. Um, it is on. So it still did stop. I can't remember what this wire is for. the WD-40 although, no, I thought it was going to make it so that's the WD-40, next was the IPA let's have a look at that one So far, so good. I think we'll call that a win so far for the IPA. I suspect the stuff the guy from Fishplate Films was using is different to WD-40 and I suspect there's something insulating in WD-40 that's, that's sort of insulating the track so this one is window cleaner which I guess has a lot of water in it but I think that's second place so far. Highly unscientific, but uh, it should give us an idea. Not bad, not bad at all. So, what about the neat vinegar? Let's have a go. Now I did see, that's interesting, the lights are on so it's got connection, you can't see from there but it just looked like the motor got stuck or something. Now I did see, I had a little search, uh, there's a WD-40 contact cleaner which uh, may be worth a try in the future or some other kind of electrical contact cleaner but yeah from that little test so far uh, I'm not going to recommend you spray WD-40 all over your track <laughs> so let's see what happens in a day or so right interesting times the track with the WD-40 that was terrible immediately after it was cleaned is now running perfectly so I tried it uh, about four or five hours after and it ran all the way up and all the way down as slow as I could make it go uh, I also ran it up and down all of the other three tracks with the other three cleaning fluids and they still all work perfectly and it is now just over 30 hours after they were cleaned and they've just been left and as you can see it's all uh, it's all still working perfectly so the WD-40 track has sort of caught up with the others and is now seems just as good even though it seemed terrible at 
just after I'd cleaned it. So I just wonder if that means it's more of a long term thing or whether this whole experiment is just completely unscientific and you'd ne need a much longer track to actually get any decent results. Uh, but just to prove that all four are the same, we'll send it down there. And as you can see, I've also put the little uh, Class 08 shunter on, which is even fussier about clean track because it's uh, only got a really short wheelbase and only uh, three axles. But yeah, as you can see, that is also running absolutely fine. And I've, I've tried the, the 08 on all four tracks as well. Uh, so yeah, so far, uh, all four <laughs> cleaning methods seem to be uh, as good as each other. Uh, one thing to note is, uh, I think it's Greg at Fishplate Films uh, has done an update video and mentioned that if you are going to use this WD-40 or uh, Inox he uses or CRC-26, uh, they're all similar-ish versions of the same type of product. Uh, if you've got traction tyres, it's not going to go well because uh, you'll just lose the uh, the grip from the traction tyre. So uh, worth bearing in mind. But yeah, he. Uh, other than that, he swears by uh, using inox to clean the tracks. So uh, yeah, I'll keep you posted. Week and a bit later. Right, uh, <laughs> this is the conclusion. It's week and a bit later uh, all four tracks are running brilliantly there's no measurable difference whatsoever between any of the four tracks so i think all this really proves is that this is not really a scientific experiment and i'm just gonna say try different track cleaners out whatever works for you just go for it because <laughs> uh, I really can't tell uh, any massive difference at all uh, between these methods. So uh, I think I'm going to keep experimenting with the WD-40 but uh, as I say your layout just use whatever you like whatever works for you. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.